The famously broken My Wedding Stories game pack for The Sims 4 finally got an update yesterday. The pack has been out for over a month, and in that time, it's been kind of unplayable. I mean, you could play it, but it had so many bugs that it was incredibly frustrating to play, and oftentimes it just flat out didn't work. For example, in the first wedding that I had on stream with Early Access, my Sims left the wedding without even being married. Like, I tried to have them exchange vows, and they just wouldn't. So after that whole, like, 12-hour long event, they left the wedding, it was over, and they were still single. At least, like, legally. They weren't married. There are a lot of issues with the wedding planning thing too. For example, the cakes just didn't work right. Sometimes they couldn't cut them, they wouldn't show up with you to the wedding. Your sims didn't wear the right clothes, like they would all just come in their everyday outfits and they wouldn't change into formal wear. They had an option to set like the attire for the wedding and it just wouldn't work, it would keep resetting. Toast didn't work. The first time I ever saw an officiant work was yesterday. In all of my testing, in the entire month the pack has been out, and including the early access period that I had for a week, I have never seen the officiant work. So as you can probably imagine, this patch is very long awaited and we've all been counting on it to kind of fix this busted game pack. I made a video last month reviewing the pack. In it, I talked a lot about the things that I liked, the things that I didn't like, the things that didn't work, and I kind of came to the conclusion that I didn't think the pack was worth buying. And so I wanted to make this video today and review the pack again, now with this update. Because the question is, you know, did that patch fix all those things that made me think the pack wasn't worth buying? And I think the answer is, yeah, pretty much. We'll get to that, I'll explain more in a second. But first, I wanted to ask, do you maybe like this hoodie? Do you think this is cute at all? Well, that is fantastic news because you can get one for yourself at lilsimsyshop.com. I have some new merch coming out today on my website, including a gray version of my Simulation Gaming Club shirt, a purple hoodie version of it. This is my favorite thing, can you tell? I think this color is like my favorite color of all time. I love this like lavendery light purple. And we also have a sensitive hat and sensitive necklaces. I'm really excited about these things. I hope that you like them. And if you want to get some for yourself, it's on Lil simsyshop.com. I'll link that down below. And now with that out of the way, let's talk about the pack. I really stand by all of the positive things that I said before about the pack. For example, I think this world is one of the better ones in the whole game. I love this area. I love the beaches. I love how many lots it has. The townies are great. The build's great. The cast is great. There are so many positive things about this pack. The main issue is with gameplay and not like a lack of gameplay, just a lack of functional gameplay. I made a video yesterday testing out the patch so I can link that down below, but I want to do that again really quickly. I think it'll be good to show these improvements, so I'm gonna have a real quick wedding of the goth family. I did set these two to just be engaged so that we could do this. Plan a wedding ceremony, I'll invite all my rich friends, pick some things that I want to test, for example the walking down the aisle and the spousal kiss, the toasts. I also want to test the dress code because this part never worked previously, it used to just keep resetting when you tried to save it. And I think it would be cool if they all showed up in white because Bella is going to wear red. We'll set it up at the wedding venue and we'll do it at like, I don't know, 10 a.m.? Is that enough time? Hard to say. I'm gonna have Alex be the flower pal, and I was thinking about having Cassie officiate it. So we've got all that set up, and I will say this part is probably one of my favorite parts of the whole pack. Just in general, the whole planning system I think is great. There's so many details that you can adjust, but I also love that you can get your family involved in the wedding, because up until this pack came out, you couldn't really do that. You could kind of pretend that your family was involved, but like, they really weren't. They didn't really do anything. And in real life, your family, your friends are a huge part of your wedding, you know? And it's just cool how you can even include the kids, they can be the flower pal, they can dance with their parents, like there's just so many details that I think make this game feel more lively and more realistic, and I appreciate that. I appreciate it more when it works, but you know, it pretty much works now, so that's good. I would very much like for Judy to be my ring bearer, so if you would please talk to her, that would be fantastic, thank you. There we go, now we're set up, okay. Also, this isn't an April Fool's joke, by the way. The merch isn't, and neither is the update. The update actually came out yesterday, just for the record, I'm not like lying to you. I don't really do pranks, okay? I swear this is real, it's not a joke. All right, here we go. Now, we did not show up in white. <laughs> not a single guest has shown up in white, so that's good. All right, good to know, thank you. I guess, does Judy count because she's wearing like white gloves? Hard to say. Let me stick my cake here and I'll select it as my cake for the ceremony. Oh no. <laughs> They saved it for the ceremony, but now it's gone. All right, I will say the cake thing doesn't work. I don't know. I still don't know how, what they mean by like set as cake for ceremony or like how it's supposed to appear because I have sincerely yet to see it happen. So that's my bad. All right, that's strike one, besties. That's strike one. Well, we're all taking our seats and look, the officiant immediately goes to the back and stands there and gets ready. I will send down the flower pal. Here he goes. Here he goes. It's working. No one's blocking his way. One thing I will say that I've noticed is that 
I don't go back and sit down afterward, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> like, I have to keep doing the whole, like, please take your seats thing in order for it to work. The ring bearer is going. Thank you, Judy. But you see, even she doesn't really like, oh, she went back down to her seat that time. Oh, that's good. You weren't even invited. That is a fan of Judith Ward, so that's good to know. I'm gonna send down Bella and Mortimer together. Here we go, here we go. There's random Sims blocking me. That's great. It's even playing music. See, that's kind of cute. The crowd is reacting appropriately. Lily looks angry still. Oh my god, I shouldn't have invited Judy. This is actually annoying. <laughs> the music's cute. Stop, stop, don't walk away. Exchange vows with officiant and kiss. Now remember, up until yesterday, I had literally never seen the officiant work. So this to me is perhaps the most impressive fix because it actually works this time. She is officiating. It's like a miracle. Everyone's all inspired from the officiant's beautiful speech. They start exchanging some vows. Are you seriously gossiping right now? And like yelling? There's a wedding ceremony happening. Everyone else is acting all tired, like they're falling asleep. Meanwhile, Alex is crying because he's so excited that his parents are getting married. It is a very long ceremony with an officiant involved. Here we go. They're exchanging rings. Oh, I forgot the bouquet again. Oh, well. The kiss works. No one like bash their foreheads together. Cassie's crying. I mean, it's really sweet. You can send them back down the aisle together afterward. They walked right through Cassie. Some beautiful music play. I mean, it, it works. It works. Before, I used to have really big issues with Sims blocking the aisle. So when they would try and walk down it, they'd like go around them and it would get stuck. And it, you know, this is a lot cleaner than it used to be. There's still, you know, stuff going on, but I guess we're in a public place. So there's random fans of Judy here screaming. My bad for inviting a celebrity. Oh my God, my cake is still gone. Ah, the cakes, the cakes still don't work. You have to buy a laptop so you can order a new one. The way I bought a laptop so I could buy a new one because I lost my old one. Something else kind of glitchy about cakes is that they used to expire in like eight hours, so they would spoil really quickly, sometimes during the wedding. They take a lot longer to spoil now, which is good. And also, when you try to cut the cake, if there was a topper on it, your sims just wouldn't. Oh wait, stop, 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 call the cake, call the cake! But now she takes the topper off first, which is, you know, smart, reasonable. Instead of just being like, oh, I can't cut it, they're smart enough to take the topper off. So far, this animation has also worked every time I've tried. And before it only worked like once out of the 10 times I tried. So that is also a serious improvement. They actually will like cut the cake and do it right. The first dance is really cute and you can do like romantic socials while they're doing it. You can have them like kiss while dancing, stuff like that. That was really fast though, it kind of ended. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, and it didn't count her as walking down the aisle because she didn't do it by herself. Oh my god. I'm literally gonna do it again. Here I go and I held my bouquet this time. This is the thing about the pack, right? So much of the pack is so micromanagey and kind of different to how I play. I feel like we've pretty much covered this. Like the pack works better now. It's more functional. I haven't encountered any game breaking glitches and I used to encounter them every single time. So that's a really serious improvement. But at its core, this pack is a little bit weird. When I say micromanagey, I mean that these things don't just happen on their own. You have to choose, okay, send this sim down the aisle. Send the next sim down the aisle. Hold the bouquet, walk down the aisle, exchange vows, have the guests blow bubbles to celebrate. Now have the guests gather by the cake, have the guests gather by the toast, have the guests gather by the dance floor. It's very much up to you to control the flow of the events. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. A lot of players like to play the Sims that way. There are a lot of people that, for example, never turn aging on, play with the same Sims and only those Sims, play every day very slowly and kind of like savor every moment. They use pose player and things to control how they're acting. Then they're there's people like me that like to play on short lifespan and just let the game run wild and do whatever it wants. And I feel like this pack is not really for the people like me kind of player, the ones that just want things to happen. Because wacky things don't really happen that much with this pack. I mean, maybe like Judith Ward will roll her eyes during your ceremony and you can get all mad at her, but like it's not really that big of a deal. It's not that exciting. Even down to like the bouquet toss, you choose who catches it. You like throw the bouquet to them. And they probably had to do it in this way just to get it to work in The Sims 4. To be honest, I can't really picture this pack functioning in a different way. It kind of checks out, right? Like a sort of busted micromanagey wedding pack that your Sims mostly do what you want them to, but not always. That sounds about right for The Sims 4. I think that, you know, pretty much everything in The Sims 4 could fit in that category of kind of busted and your Sims mostly do what you want when you want them to, but not always. It's a good descriptor for the whole game. It's hard to get all of The Sims to behave how you want them to. It's never worked before. It 
doesn't really work now either, but it certainly works a lot better than it did when the game first came out. I did a lot of testing last night and this morning of weddings, just running through them over and over again to see if more bugs came up. And for the most part, all of those issues that I was having before have been pretty much resolved. There's still some weird things like the cake, maybe it's user error, but I still have issues getting the cake to appear. Honestly, I wouldn't even bother like doing the whole set as cake for ceremony. Just buy the cake in the morning and bring it with you. It's easier. The clothes like work sometimes and don't work other times, but you know what? It's the Sims 4. Everything does that. I'm, I'm completely unsurprised by that. I certainly did not expect the patch to fix like everything. Honestly, I'm kind of impressed that it fixed what it did. There's always going to be issues with the Sims. Like there's always going to be things that are going wrong, but I don't think this pack is broken anymore. And I also don't think that it's unplayable. Like I really cannot begin to express to you how frustrated I was playing this pack for the first few times on stream. I was like near tears. It was so annoying how it just wasn't working. Nothing worked. And I don't have that same experience anymore. So when the pack first came out last month, I ended my review by saying that I didn't really think the pack was worth buying. And I couldn't really recommend it to you because it seemed like a waste of money, especially because when you buy this pack, it replaces the base game wedding system. You can never have a base game wedding again. You will always have this new wedding ceremony set up. And when it was so broken, I was like, it's just not worth it. Like the, the world is nice, sure, but your Sims can't get married. And now with this update, I kind of retract that statement because your Sims can get married now. It does work. But that also doesn't mean that everybody is going to like this pack and it might still not be worth it for you. If you don't like to be all micromanagey, it might be boring for you. And I find myself getting kind of frustrated at myself. Like for example, I keep forgetting to have my Sim hold the bouquet before they walk down the aisle because that's on me. I have to like select hold bouquet and then select walk down aisle. And I like always forget, but somebody else might like that. They might enjoy the chance to like set their Sims up all properly and have them walk down the aisle. That's just not really how I play. I will say if you are a builder and you love having more worlds and lots to build in and more styles to build in, this pack might be good for you. It doesn't have a ton of build stuff. Like most of the new items are obviously very focused on the ceremony. I mean, you can kind of see from this lot, but a lot of these things aren't necessarily useful in like your average everyday build. There's not a lot of windows or wallpapers either, but this world is a beautiful place to build in. So if you love doing stuff like that, it might be worth it for you. And honestly, even just the cast is so excellent. That's a huge selling point as well. I did spend a long time in that original review video talking about things that I liked in the pack. So if you want to watch that to get like a better idea, I might watch that too as well before buying the pack just to see. So then back to that original question, did the patch fix the wedding pack? I, I think, yeah, pretty much it did. There's still some things. There's always going to be some things, but all of those game breaking bugs, they're gone now. And so knowing that, I think that if I weren't a YouTuber, I would probably buy the pack now. I love the idea of this pack. I love the things that came in the pack. I love the animations. I think it's so cute and I'm not frustrated by it anymore. So I feel a lot more comfortable being like, yeah, if you want it, it's, it's probably worth getting now. Again, you might not want it and that's fine. But if you do want this pack, I feel a lot better recommending it now than I did last month because I just couldn't with it being broken like that. So that's my review of my wedding stories. It's probably worth buying and it's pretty much fixed in my opinion. And you know what? Honestly, that could probably be said of the entire Sims 4. Pretty much every pack. It's, it's probably worth buying and it's, you know, probably not that broken. <sighs> Unfortunately, that is the direction we are going in these days. You know what's not broken though? LittleSimsyShop.com. I'm sorry. I had, I had to. I had just one last little plug. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'll link some more videos I've made on the wedding pack down below. I did a whole bunch of them. I did like 10 or something. So I can link some of the best ones, including that review, the original review, and the one on the patch yesterday if you want to watch those. And with that being said, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. You know what I will say though? Bella Goth looked fantastic in her wedding dress. And that's the thing, the cast in this pack is amazing. The animations, amazing. The world, amazing. Everything looks great. It just didn't work that great until yesterday.